Let's talk mile. And then we'll go men's mile, women's 1500. A lot to talk about in those two races. Start with the men's mile. I picked against Jakob Ingebrigtsen. I don't know why I picked against Jakob Ingebrigtsen. I should probably not pick against Jakob Ingebrigtsen, especially at the Prefontaine class. Uh, I picked Abel Kipsang. He was the hot hand. He disappeared during the third lap and then came back during the fourth. I thought it was going to be much worse. He ends up getting fourth. He looked out of it in that third lap, just drifted back. But nobody followed the pacer, really, when Eric Sawinski went out. So it just was one of those things where Ingerbritson was left at the front. And in a different era, that would have meant he would have started running 62s. But with this field and with this guy, Jakob, he's just, he's unafraid. He's just going to keep grinding it down and going quicker and quicker and quicker. So he runs 349.7. Looked very easy. Looked very controlled. Uh, I still, though, don't think this event is over for, for this year. I, Gordon, co-host Gordon, again, thinks Jakob will never lose a mile until he has grandkids or something. But Oliver Hoare ran really well for second. But Chariot and Kip saying, you know, both ran 350. They were not that far back. The tables can turn quite quickly. Now, on the American side of things, Hawker Tier. Tier Hawker, we've talked about this a bunch. I thought the faster pace would lend itself better to the talents of Cooper Tier than Cole Hawker, but it actually was Cole Hawker. And Hawker ran into a brick wall with about, what, 70, 80 meters to go? Because Kipsang and Chariot were running shoulder to shoulder. Hawker ran right up to him. And if the positioning was better or if they were single file for whatever reason, I think Hawker could have gone by and, and maybe even finished ahead of Hoare. But he, he almost, it felt like he, it kind of broke his momentum. So he runs great to go 350.97. Tier, 351, a PB. I don't think he's that upset about that. Because again, if we're talking about how do you get on the U.S. team, Cooper Tier has a path in the 1500. Because even if Cole Hawker beats you, you'd need to find two other guys right now in the United States who are better than Cooper Tier to keep him off that 1500 meter team. 5,000, maybe you can make a better argument, but 1500, it looks clear. So good run for both of those guys to go five, six in that setting. Again, I was, I was impressed by Hawker because what was that record? Five and zero oh in the 1500 in the mile against his teammate. We, we discussed that on the last pod. Tier had a big advantage over him. But today, Hawker put himself in it. And again, it looked for a while there like he might run up and get second. Good close, though, from Oliver Hoare. Great close from him um, to run a personal best. 